Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're doing another pick a card reading. We're using tarot decks and we are asking the question, what do they think about you? And what do they say about you? That is, if they say anything about you to others. And uh, we have uh, deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four and deck five. Please pause the video and make your choice and go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp for the reading that you've chosen. Thank you. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, the question we're asking is, what do they think about you? And what is it they say about you, about you to others? If there is anything that they say about you, that is. So here, what they think of you is they think that you are quite an independent person, that you have many attributes which are very positive, that you perhaps have all that you need and it's very carefully and neatly packaged for you. Uh, this could be in terms of the material resources that you have or the skills that you have or the uh, abilities that you have to, to just be... to. Uh, to have a well of a life, to have a good life. So this is how they, what they think of you. They think that you have everything that you need, that you are well uh, taken care of, that you perhaps are wealthy as well. They may think that you're wealthy or simply that you're well off, that you uh, don't need anything and that you've ac accomplished something, that on some levels you have a certain degree of knowledge and skill. But they also feel that there is a, a lot of depth to your knowledge and your skills and that this is something that you can develop over time and that you can refine over time. Um, when they think about you, they also see you as being sharp with the word that me, you know, that you may be quite outspoken or that you have the ability to be outspoken, that you can speak your mind. And sometimes you may do so in a blunt fashion or in a harsh manner, or you may do so in a manner which is, um, not really taking into account how others may, uh, may view the situation. You may come in uh, into the situation with a different angle and be able to express express that in a in an eloquent manner. They also show me that um, that this person, the way they think that you have a lot of wisdom, a lot of understanding about the world, but it's just a bit jumbled up right now, and that it re needs a little bit of refinement. And they think that this will come with age. They think that this is something that will come as you grow up a little bit more, as you go through life a little bit more. Uh, in some ways, they see you as somebody who has everything. And in that way, they see you as being mature. But they also see you as needing to mature a little bit more, not because you are immature, but simply because there is a depth of information and, and, and wisdom within you that needs uh, more time to be able to mature. They think of you as somebody who's very uh, sharp-tongued or you could actually just speak your truth or be blunt about what it is that you want to say and uh, that you're not afraid to speak out when you need to and that sometimes because of, you know, you're not having all your thoughts in order that you may actually say something or do something, uh, rather say something which may not be an elegant manner of representing yourself. At the same time, they see you as, um, or they think of you as being somebody who is eloquent. So here I see that um, the, the, these cards um, don't tell me, they don't speak to me uh, as something that they say to other people uh, about you. This is, I don't believe that all these cards here are a representation of what they say about you to other people. I think that they actually worry about you more than they speak about you. The sense I'm getting here is they think about you, they think about what kind of difficulties you might have undergone. They may think about you as being somebody who's 
uh, quite worried about things, who has anxieties that you uh, are in the process of overcoming. And I feel that they uh, uh, see you as, uh, or they have, they think of you as somebody who's guarded. They, you have something to protect about yourself, that you are not so willing to to bear yourself uh, to them or to the, to others. And what I think it is that they say to others about you is that they say that you have the ability to be compassionate. They see you as having a side of you that, that is soft. And when they talk about you uh, with other people or when they're in a context in which other people are discussing you, they refer to that of you which is compassionate and which has the ability to be compassionate, that aspect of you which is soft. So yet here it is that they see you as being as having this aspect to, to yourself, which may be a, a bit blunt at times, but they don't speak about that um, to others. They don't. Uh, they they try to um, bring forth what it is that they believe to be compassion compassionate from you, and this is. Um, a compassionate quality that you have they bring they try to bring forth what they believe is a quality of yours that is compassion and uh, or the ability to be compassionate or the ability to be soft and to be uh, understanding this is how they choose to see you or to think about you when speaking to you uh speaking about you to other people so i feel that here they are in a situation where they're not they don't. They don't really have an opportunity to discuss you with other people. They don't really have the need to discuss you with other people. It's simply that they think about you or they see you in a particular way. But in fact, the the way in which they um they speak about you is is something that it's almost like they don't speak about you. But when others um speak about you, what they try to impart is uh that aspect of you which is soft. They see you uh, as they think about you as somebody who has a lot of anxieties that you need to overcome or some things that are bothering you. They're not sure what those things are here. Uh, they feel that it's uh, uh, many things that have been bothering you, that have been working away at you, that's been working away at how uh, productive you can be or how um you know, how you can ex succeed as a person. And they see you as being guarded as a result of that and not really having the opportunity to be free and to uh, be open, uh, but simply guarding yourself. And this is something that they recognize and they respect in you. And when they're in a context with other people, they may actually um, be clear that uh, with those people that they respect that you guard yourself although I don't think they speak about it openly it's not like they go to their colleagues or to their friends and they say oh well she's so guarded she's so defensive she's got some anxieties that she needs to overcome um or he you know the, if it's a, a man looking at this reading thinking about a woman it's more like uh here is this person that recognizes that you you have some things that you're undergoing and that you have this aspect of your personality uh, you have all these different aspects of your personality here, but they uh, choose not to emphasize it. They choose to draw attention away from it. And so I don't really feel that they go out openly and speak about you. Although what may happen is in some context, they may actually just uh, be in a context where somebody else is saying something about you and they may be brought in to defend you. They may be, they may come in and say something kind about you. Maybe somebody else says something that does not match their opinion of you. And so they step in to volunteer their opinion of you. And this is what I feel is happening here. Okay, so that was your reading for those of you who've chosen uh, this one here. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking is, what do they think of you? And what do they say about you to others? Okay, so here they think of you as somebody who's really quick to action, uh, that you take action quickly, that you, you may be somebody who travels a lot, you may be somebody who's moving very fast, who's um, 
who thinks very quickly, who talks very fast as well. And they see that you are somebody who uh, go ahead, goes ahead and does things that they want to do, regardless of what other people think of them. They think of you as somebody who doesn't wait around for um, confirmation from another person, but you simply act the way you want to. And sometimes this leads to a kind of intensity or a, um, a forcefulness in you, which may actually uh, pause, bring you to pause. So this it's like you run into situations, but at times and you, you bring about some things which may be a bit reckless at times, or maybe you bring about uh, something which is without thinking about, and then you need to pause to think about uh, the consequences of what it is. So they think of you as somebody who's just free to move about and do whatever you'd like and that you 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 create things, you make things happen with this forcefulness, with this um, energy here that you have. You're a very energetic person, goes ahead, does things, creates things, doesn't think too much about it, just goes ahead and does it. But then you think about it thereafter. You think about it and you think about the consequences as a result of the action that you might have taken. Okay, here I feel that this person is moved by the fact that you behave in this way. This person is moved by the fact that you actually uh, act upon in your life in the way that you do. You may act with a certain degree of aggression here or a certain degree of a force which they uh, are shocked by. This is, a, an, this is a card where they are surprised and shocked and they are not expecting this. And it also impacts them in a way that they have not... Um, imagine that they they would be impacted in this way and here's a sense where they feel that you uh that you were responsible for this so and they, what they say about you to others is that um that they recognize how similar you are your know, the, the good qualities in you that brings about this this feeling in them so even though this feeling in them may be something that's not that uh, uh, not a such a good feeling they you might uh, destabilize them on some level and um, this may be largely due to the way that you behave or how you how you act and um, your your forcefulness which I see here as well but the, the your directness your bluntness this may destabilize this, this person or make them feel uh, not so sure when they're with you um, but the way in which they speak about you to others is, is not about that if they don't speak about that they don't speak about this aspect of you but what they're rather saying is here's this person that I get along well with that I understand and I see this person I understand this person and I see the reason why they behave in this way i understand the integrity which is behind this i because here they see they see you all together as being somebody who's really honest and uh they they may share this with the, with other people they may talk about how honest you are and how you are how they they get along with you or how they may like you as a result the similarities that you have they see you as somebody also that they may admire and uh, they, they may like um they see you as being one of them to some extent as well and somebody that you who could be a, a friend to you or uh they see you as somebody who could be uh perhaps a partner if this is a love situation that you're talking about or you're looking into uh if the or somebody like a business partner uh they are blown away by all these ideas that you have and this way that you move about th th things they don't see uh they, they're not expecting this they this person that you are asking about is not somebody who uh behaves in this in this forthright manner in this manner that is uh b basically taking charge and making things happen and here they see you as actually going ahead and and doing that and please I'm not using these um, these keywords here because I'm just reading the cards uh, with my intuition. And um, the other thing I'm seeing here is that this person may be wanting to team up with you on some level and do something with you. They may want to cooperate with you on some level. So this, if this is a work colleague, it's as if they may be speaking to somebody else about how they could team up with you, how they could partner with you to do something. If this is a... Uh, um, if, if you've made an application for some kind of study 
and you've been quite forthright and, and demanding about it. Here's somebody who uh, is, is confused about what they should do because you've been so demanding, but perhaps you've missed the deadline. And uh, they, they see the force in which you are able to act and, and that you're willing to, to act if, to get what you want. And uh, they may be considering with somebody to let you into the course late. If this is a, a situation where uh, this is a, a family matter and you're wondering what they is, they they saying about you behind your back, uh, I feel that they may think of you as being somebody who's quite chaotic and or say that you're quite chaotic and say that you you can be a bit blunt at times and you can be quite forthright and it it may be you know a bit. Um, harsh at times but at the same time they really enjoy you and they're really looking forward to seeing you and being with you again and they they recognize that even though you may come across like this like you come across as somebody who's quite harsh or at times yeah not always but they may see you in this or they may tell people that yeah this is how she comes across or how he comes across but at the same time they recognize what is harmonious about you what is kind about you what is loving about you what where they can actually a bond with you and um, this is what they concentrate on when they speak to other people about you but they also may talk about how you've um, you've blown their mind or how you've come into their life and brought chaos into it uh, or you, you you are a bit chaotic so I feel that they don't really speak about this part as much or they may be uh, less willing to talk about uh, the fact that you're blunt but if they do talk about the fact that you may be blunt or you may be too forthright for their taste not that I'm not saying that you are forthright here I'm saying that you are too forthright, that they think that you're forthright and you may be too forthright for their taste. Uh, they may back this up quickly with saying, well, yeah, she is like this or he is like this and they, they can not be chaotic or, or uh, a bit all over the place and they can bring like be stormy some, somewhat. But here is, is uh, a situation where you really can um, find a lot uh, they find a lot in you to appreciate and they find a lot of similarities and a lot of aspects of you which are which they can really appreciate and enjoy and they want to you know uh, spend time with you they want to partner with you on some level and do something with you so that is it for those of you who've chosen um, this particular deck here for those of you who've chosen this deck here the question we're asking today is what do they think of you and what do they say about you to other about you to others what do they think about you what do they think about you and what do they say about you to others Okay, so here's a situation where this person is actually, what they think of you is that you are trapped in a situation that you can't get out of, that you actually are having a bit of a rough time at the moment, that you need to defend your position, that you need to stand up and fight for what it is that you need uh, and what is important to you in your life, and that uh, they think of you as being defensive, they think of you as being trapped, they think of you as perhaps being in danger on some level where you need to protect yourself, and they see you as somebody who's had a really hard time, they, they see you as somebody who's come from something which has not been easy so this is what they they think of you they the way they see you and the way they think of you is that you are in a in a in a difficult situation right now that you may be in danger that you have to protect what it is that you own and what you have before you you need to stand up for yourself and that you might have come through some hardship and that may make you feel a little bit bleak about your circumstances or that may be um um maybe uh, you know aiding and you're not seeing your your path as clearly as possible and maybe adding to this defensiveness that you feel that you have here as well as making you feel uh helpless or powerless in this given situation where you feel like your hands are tied and you're not really able to move forth where you are uh, perhaps in danger where there's nothing that you can do right now for yourself So 
So here we are asking, um, the question we're asking here is what are they saying about you to others? So what I feel they're saying about you to others here is that this is somebody who's strong. Okay, this is somebody here. They're definitely talking about you to others because they're trying to help you. Okay, uh, whereas in the other cards, I didn't really feel that uh, they were talking about you so clearly. Um, and they, you know, they may be mentioning things, etc., but they aren't speaking directly about you. So, here I feel they've talked about you more than once to more than one person, and they're talking about how strong you are and the skills that you have, the ability that you have to be able to do things. And they're talking about the fact that you have been hurt previously, that you haven't had a good time, that where you've come from, the things have not been so good. They see your sorrow, they see your difficulty, they see where you're coming from, and that it's it, your life has not been kind to you. But at the same time, they, they see that you have this ability to be able to do things that you they have these these your they have you have certain skills you have um, an ability to be able to uh, to contribute and in a meaningful manner and uh, that you know you have the strength within you to be able to take that so if this is you're talking about a work situation yeah it's almost as if you've applied for a particular job and um, your employers are well aware of where you're coming from and the difficulties you've had in the past and they are wanting to help you here they recognize your skills they recognize what you're good at what you're able to do with ease and how you can be of value uh, and uh, and how you can be profitable for the company and they see your strength and they know that you'll be strong again that you'll get over this and that you'll come through this and that you will be successful in what you do and so um, if it's a love situation I feel it's similar that they see your pain they see your sorrow but they are talking about how they can help you and how you can actually benefit uh, in the long term they they see you as needing to defend something they need, see you as somebody who's needing to protect yourself and also help this in the situation that they don't have any power in this situation that they can't act that anything they do is or anything you do rather is is not going to make a difference and they see as it it as if you've really come through a really hard time that you've been um, trampled all over in this situation they recognize that yeah they that's what they're thinking about you here and they feel that and this may be with them or this may be with somebody else you know a previous partner or something like this and what they see here is the ability to be able to work on something to be able to make something uh worth a one's while to be able to overcome the sorrow to be able to work uh, and develop the strengths that you have here and develop that warmth and that compassion within you uh, and um, just work away the sorrow here you know they re recognize that it requires work and what they're saying about you and what they how what they're speaking um, you know to other people about you is that they believe that here you can actually um, get through this that this this love that they have for you that you have together uh is is strong and you know can overcome the sorrow and can, can overcome the hurt that you have and it needs there needs work in this relationship so if you are in a relationship with somebody or they may be talking about you um to somebody else what they are saying is that well there's there needs to be work here we need to do something about this we need to actually work on what we have uh we need to strengthen this uh, this thing that we have and we need to get past this uh, sadness that uh, you have so um, that is what they basically saying about you here that you are strong they recognize your strengths they recognize that this needs work and that it can be worked on and that there's a sorrow that needs to be worked away if this is just regarding a family situation it's or anyone else any other situation basically it's the same meaning yeah they see you as uh, having come through some really difficult circumstances that you need to protect yourself that you're somehow powerless to do so in the circumstances here but that you have the strength and they speaking what they're saying to other people about you is that you have the strength you have the capacity you have the ability you have the skills and all that that you need to be able to come the sadness to be able to work uh, and on um, and strengthen uh, what you have already so that is your reading for those of you who've chosen um, this particular deck here and uh, we're moving on to the next one. For those of you who've chosen this one here, the question we're asking today is, what is it that they think of you and what do they say to others about you?
Okay, so this is what they're thinking about you, right? Here it is that they see you, uh, they're thinking about you as somebody who's very vibrant, very oh, quite feisty, um, and you have an energy that's able to cut through things and to be able to make things a success. They think of you as somebody who is a success, but is perhaps the beginning of your journey. They see your potential and they see all that you can do with what you have. Here they see that uh, also that even though you have this, that your anxieties or your your um, lack of confidence or your what is worrying you, things that are worrying you, things that are that do not belong to you, that are not part of you, that don't that is not part of your makeup, is actually causing you to have a uh, like to lose your balance, to be able to um, work through things, work uh, try to juggle, try to to make things uh, work out for you. It's as if here you have all this, this, everything going for you. You're the beginning of perhaps a new venture or you have this energy that you could, you know, tackle the world with. Um, you have the ability to be able to create anything and do anything with this energy here. But here there's a degree of uncertainty. Uh, there's a sh shuffling around and, and juggling and trying to make things work, trying to create a balance. And the struggle with that and they see this the re reason for that is because here you are they believe you have some anxieties or some difficulty something that's worrying you something that doesn't belong to you something that doesn't define you that is actually creating this uncertainty in you and so they they the way they see you right now the way they think about you is that you have the potential to be able to create anything and if you could just re you know release this this anxiety or these worries that you have um because they aren't true okay then you will be able to manage the situation better and you wouldn't need to be juggling in this way but you'll be able to give birth to this potential that you have here so what is it that they say about you okay so here when they speak about you they see you as somebody who is in the midst of creating something amazing they see you as, as somebody who's able to create something that's out of this world. They see you as somebody who's who's got a vision, a long-term goal and a vision, and that it will that you are dedicated to the hard work and uh, that you are willing to, to make sacrifices to be able to reach your goals, to be able to reach for the stars, uh, quite literally. And they see you as being successful. So when they speak to other people, this is what they believe about. Uh, this is what they believe about you, and this is how they see you uh, here. But when they speak about uh, about you to other people, they are boasting about you. They are basically saying, "Well, here's somebody who's in it for the long haul, and they're willing to do whatever." It, they need to do to be able to reach the success that they are going to have they're going to create something that's going to surpass our, our wishes our dreams they're going to be somebody who's um who's going to give us much more than we actually believe that they can just because of the sacrifices they're able to make and just because of the amount of work that they're willing to put in and the amount of time that they're dedicating to this. So when they talk about you, when they uh, talk to you about other people, they mention you to other people, because I feel this is something that, you know, they may be on the verge of saying to somebody and, or they may be thinking about this or they may have mentioned this once a long time ago. Uh, depending on your situation, of course, if you didn't know them a long time ago, they wouldn't have said this a long time ago. But if this is somebody that you've known for some time, they see you as, you know, juggling, working with what you have, having difficulties in the past, maybe it's things like depression, anxiety that has uh, worn away at your abilities. But they are certain of your success and they are certain that you're going to create something that's something that's almost out of this world, something that's that they can't put quite put their finger on but they know that it's going to be brilliant and it's going to make a huge contribution and they boast about this they boast about this so they may they may speak a more highly of you than is than is necessary or is deemed um and they may speak about you quite with, with a lot of pride you know they, they it's like they they enjoy speaking about you uh and about your successes and about what you're able to do and what you what you're willing to do here and what you what they believe that you will do ultimately and if this is about a love situation well um here i see a situation where they see you as somebody that they were really attracted to and it's some a situation where they may have uh been uh, initiated something they may have thought about initiating something but then um They've been wondering what shall they do, they do? What what decision they, should they make? They're still thinking about that. They're still trying to figure out what it is that they should do, and this causes uh, them 
um, anxiety, but they, they also recognize that it causes you um, a kind of sleepless night. So it causes you some kind of worry. It causes you worry. They are aware of the worry that it causes you. And what they say about you is that, you know, here's somebody who's successful and who's, uh, you know, able to do many things. They are hardworking, they're successful, and they are amazing. They are, you know, some, somebody that they've never met before. They're somebody that they still, you know, they're willing, they're wishing that they could get to know you. They see you as somewhat, as somewhat um, maybe detached or far away or some somebody that they can't quite get close to. And they may mention this to somebody, uh, to the people around them. They may mention that, uh, you know, there's much to be discovered about you. There's much to be learned about you, that you are some, you have a quality of uh, about you that is mysterious and that is uh, a bit detached and, and it's something that they would like to understand more, but they know that you uh, are successful in what you do. So I feel this is my, this might be a situation where you work with this person or you are in fact uh, engaged with this person, in, you know, perhaps on a project, perhaps on some research uh, or something like this where you moving in the same circles as this person. Because I feel that this person is definitely talking about you from a work point of view or from a point of view where they are proud of you and they they recognize they recognize uh, skills that you have. They recognize that your abilities. They recognize your potential. They recognize that they have hope in what you will produce ultimately uh, in these circumstances. This person has, uh, is proud of you and they, and they mention it to other people. They mention your sacrifices to other people. And they mention the hope that they have that you will be able to create something ultimately um, that is, you know, that is dazzling, uh, so to say. And so that is your uh, reading for those of you who've chosen um, this particular deck here. For those of you who have chosen this last deck here, the question we're asking today is, what do they think of you? And what is it, and, and what is it that they say about you to other people? What do they think of you? Okay, so here, what is it that they think of you? Well, they think of you as somebody who has the potential to create a lot more in your life than you are creating at this moment. That you have the potential to uh, be all that you want to be in a material point of view. That you have the potential to be far more uh, successful than you are materially. Or that you could, if you're studying together, that you have the, uh, you know, the potential to be far more successful in, in your studies and in your work that you do. And um, they, they think that if you were, that you would be far happier, that then your life would be perfect, that then you'd be uh, sitting in a space in yourself which would be full of satisfaction and happiness. And so this is actually what they see, uh, what they're thinking about you right now. They're thinking, well, you know, you can actually do a bit better in your life. You can work harder. You can be more strategic in your, in your work or in your business or uh, you can actually do a little bit better than you're doing right now um and as a, and then you'll be more successful and you'll you'll have more at your disposal as a result and this will bring you far more satisfaction and happiness so this is what they're thinking about you if this is a love situation here uh they are thinking that um there is a part of you that is not exalting that aspect of you which is um the the feminine part of you the part of you that is perhaps uh that that person that is uh, domesticated or that part of you which is sensual and and this could apply to a man or a woman okay and um they are saying they are thinking that as a result you lose a lot that you can enjoy in your life you're missing out on a lot that you can enjoy in your life they 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 think that you don't take time out to look after yourself to to take time out for yourself to to actually nurture yourself to to ensure that you are happy and as a result, you lose a lot of uh, joys that you could have in your life. They see you as perhaps, oh, they, they think of you as somebody who's, who doesn't take time out to smell the roses, for instance, to, to actually experience the sensuality. And as a result, 
you you missing out on that and you're not able to experience life as fully as you could and and when you because of that you are not experiencing and not having you're not enjoying the full satisfaction that you can have from life and you don't you can't really appreciate love or appreciate uh the happiness or the simple things in life in the way that you could you would be able to if you simply um took time to to look after yourself to be, um, take better care of yourself okay so that that is what they think of you okay uh so they basically they don't see you as being in a bad situation they just see that you could be in a better situation and they somehow focused on that and um I'm not sure why, but they, they are focused on that. They see you as, as having so much more potential, you know, that you aren't living in your full potential at this moment. And uh, I think that this is something that they recognize that you are, they see you as perhaps beautiful and perhaps, um, you know, having so much that you can do with so much ease as well and being able to create sensuality with ease. But at the same time, they recognize that if you made a little bit more effort in a particular direction, um, you know, and you 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 just took a little bit more care uh you spent a little bit more time then you would um have more benefits that you could reap from and there therefore a uh, more pleasure that you would have and what i feel here is that um what i'm hearing and i'm seeing here is that they've chosen not to speak about you to anyone or they've opted to speak not to speak uh about you to anyone because th this shows me that um they, they're going inward with these feelings, with these thoughts. They're not really reaching out to anyone else. And um, if there was something to celebrate, if there was a firmer foundation between you and this person, then they would begin to, to think about speaking to other people about it. And I feel that um, at this point, if they spoke about you to another person, they would feel poorer as a result, or they would feel um, like they are... Um, not doing you uh, any justice okay because of the thoughts that they have about you so this person's actually not speaking about you to other people they're not really saying anything to anyone about you um, if you're wondering if you're in a school situation or in college and you are you know your students and uh, you're asking well what is this about here um, well, in that case, they just feel that you could do a lot better in your grades or in, in, in whatever project you're busy with right now. But they also, it's like thoughts that they'd rather keep to themselves. It's not something that they would share with you. It's not something that they would think of sharing with you until you have a, a, a deeper friendship, a deeper relationship with each other, in which case they would think about it. And actually, what they see in you uh, makes them feel somewhat, um, what they see in you makes them feel uh similar they they feel like it reflects on them you know the fact that they are not able to the the, the fact that they see you in this light reflect reflects on them uh and i feel that there could be a situation here where the goals are not in focus like perhaps they think of you as not having the uh your goals are not um focused enough or you have goals but you're not really focused or disciplined enough in order to be able to reach those goals uh, but they see that in themselves as well and so as a result they're not actually speaking to anyone else about it because they feel that even if they have to complain about this even if they have to mention this to anyone and say say this to anyone firstly it seems like there's nobody around here to hear it secondly it seems that they don't feel that they know you well enough to be able to say this about you they don't feel like they they can say this about you that they have the right to say this about you and the last thing is that they feel that they are quite similar in, in that way. And they, they are also not as oriented or focused as they need to be. And uh, therefore, they don't have a right to be able to speak about you and what you can do. But they suddenly see, think of you as being luckier than they are. They think of you as being having more opportunities than they have. They think of you as being better off than, than they are right now. And it's as if... Um, they, they 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 almost can't say anything about it like they they dumbfounded they they there's nothing that they can actually say about it um and so yeah that is the the reading that i have for you here uh for those of you who've chosen the last one i feel that um if this is a, a family situation or something like this it's this person if this is your mother and you're wondering how is what do they think about you and what are they saying about you well they're not saying anything about you right now they're not saying about anything about you right now. They are just, you know, taking time to see how you will, uh, how you will 
behave and it's like a, of this is a parent that's looking at you and you're wondering about them and they won't say anything about it but they also are taking into account where they might have made mistakes with you in the past or where they may have, may have made where they may have stumbled uh in regard to helping you or being there for you in the past and they see here that you have a great potential but and they know that you will reach that potential eventually but it may be a bit delayed and that you know you have this potential you can have the wealth and the stability that you require in your life as long as you take steps to be more stable and to be more um, focused and more disciplined is what I'm hearing especially with this card here and the other thing is that they they recognize that you will be happy and that you will gain your satisfaction eventually they're just wondering when that will be and this is what they're thinking about but they're not willing to interfere they're not going to interfere they're not going to say anything either to you or to anyone else uh they are just w going to keep it to themselves here and they are going to wait to see if this changes uh and if something takes root with you because if something takes root with you that is when they will say something and it's something that they will say what they will say will be celebrating you it won't be they won't say anything that will not celebrate you you know and they won't say anything that will not um be a compliment to you so right now they're reserving their opinion for themselves and the other thing is that uh it they they feel somehow responsible for for this situation here that you are in so yeah it is different meanings here in different contexts whereas in the other options they were the meanings were not that different and I thank you for coming by today and I hope that this reading has helped you in some way and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.